Hola oh, amigos, what is up? This is Tales of Firebrog, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo Wii U. In the last episode, we cleared up the eight main Maverick bosses, including these guys, whoever they are. And in today's episode, we're going to be starting up the Sigma Fortress, which, as you'd expect, is probably a little bit more difficult than the previous stages. Just by a little, though. Let's split up. That's totally a horrible idea, but I'm I'm going to let you do this, Zero, because you're awesome. And I'm sure Zero will be fine. He's gonna keep the main defense force busy, busy, but I'm I'm pretty sure he can handle himself. I mean, he's high on the Marvel vs. Capcom three tier lists, so you know, if he's high on the tier list, he shouldn't have a problem. After all, tiers are 100% accurate, right? And always are relevant to the game. Honest. Okay, maybe not, but... And... I've always kind of liked and hated tier lists for games. Like, I understand why they exist. But there's some times when I just don't necessarily agree with what's going on. No, well, whatever. I've got a tier list for Mega Man X if anyone wants it. The tier list goes Storm Tornado OP Capcom please nerf. Why am I shooting them with bullets? I have the Storm Tornado. It is going to rip through them like a hot knife through bad guy. And if we climb this ladder. Oh hey, it's Vile! And Zero! Stay back, X. I'll take them on. My text is orange for some reason now. Well, let's follow him, I guess. Eh, that fight was over quick. Ah, oh, but I'm sure Zero won. I mean, after all, he's the coolest. Like, do you see his hair? Zero is so... Oh, fuck, he is so screwed. Do what I say or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. And, uh... Hi, Vile. How are you? I'm gonna just keep on shooting at you and, uh... Hope that you don't kill me? Maybe if I compliment you, Zero... Uh, Vile, you are a lovely shade of purple, you know that? I mean, if you were blue or green, maybe, I mean, that would also be pretty cool, but purple? That is... That is definitely your color. You are rocking it, Vile. Oh man, you work it, baby. You oh. It seems I probably should have seen this. Oh, I love how he just puts you back there too. Ah, oh, zero breaks out though. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. Oh man, zero. What are you gonna do? Take out a knife and slit his throat? That's gonna be gross. What are you doing? Uh, okay. I, I don't know what's worse right now. The fact that Zero blew himself up or the fact that Vile is still fucking alive! Can't be defeated so easily. So X, it's just you and me now. Plot significance, ho! Oh. What the? Where did that- You see, even the game doesn't know where that energy came from. Deus Ex Machina! Quite literally Machina. It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. Oh, Vile. You and your Boba Fett ass... ass. You're going down. I'm sorry to say, but you are going down. I even have an action figure of you, but you that is still not going to prevent me from... I actually wish I had, like, the full, like, 5-inch action figure, or 6-inch action figure, or whatever it was. Because back in 2004, Jazzwares rolled out a bunch of Mega Man action figures, and they were pretty sweet. I actually used to have one of, uh, X himself. And... I broke him. Because I'm horrible terrible. Also, that was a boss fight somehow, I just... I just wanted you guys to realize that in case... In case you thought it was a lettuce or something. Nah, that was a boss fight. 
You are more powerful than you were before. But Sigma is much more than he appears to be. Oh, poor Zero. He's half the man he used to be. And, and he's bleeding out of his mouth somehow. He's a robot. How is he doing that? You're going to need an edge. Take my arm cannon, and your attack power should increase. Good luck, X. No. Zero, you can't die. No. I refuse to believe that Zero is dead. That is just so sad. And now what are they gonna do for a sequel? I mean, to be honest, it's a Capcom game. It's gonna have a sequel. They always do. Alright, anyway, let's climb up and avoid some lasers. Ah, I hate that I can't kill these guys either. It's just so sad, Bad Dad, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, 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 those are lasers. I don't want to touch lasers. I don't want to accidentally contract laser flu. I actually have an allergy to lasers. It's very, it's very bad, and I don't like talking about it, but... Sometimes you just gotta... Anyway, so this next section is a vertical climb, but you want to know how to make it easier? We can use the arm cannon we just got, and... Kabam! Now, over there, actually, Zero gave us the arm cannon. You can actually get the arm upgrade beforehand. It's actually hidden in Flame Mammoth stage. But, I... It just seems better to use Zeros. I mean... He was our friend, after all, and I don't want to let him down. Also, because in the PSP version, the Zero can't, Zero's Buster is actually better than X's Buster, so... That is kind of a little bonus. Also, how are you doing, Disco Kwanger? What's up, dude? I like your mustache. I think it's actually supposed to be like the mandibles of a beetle or something like that, but... I like your mustache, nonetheless. You're rocking the whole Fu Manchu thing and stuff. I I am not one to judge, but I am one to shoot missiles at you, so... Hope you don't mind. Hope we can still be friends. Love, X. So we technically do have every weapon in the game now. Actually, let's charge up the launcher thing and see what it does. Missiles! Missiles everywhere. That was actually very pointless. Uh... How am I gonna do this? Because there's a met here. And if, you, if you're if you not careful... He can really mess you up. Metal's clearly the strongest enemy that X needs to face. Oh wow, that's a lot of energy. I could actually use a lot of that. Ooh. Why so generous with the health all of a sudden, game? You're kinda worrying me, I don't remember the next boss being too hard, but... And I don't remember accident. oh fuck. I accidentally spat on the screen and when I'm trying to... ...clear that shit off. Sometimes, you know, but you know what console I'm playing it on now, at least. So that's something? <laughs> uh, technical difficulties. Gives me- oh wow, that spider actually blocked the shot. By the way, speaking of spiders, this is the boss of Spider. But you can call him... Bow Spider. Is it a him? Is it a her? Is it just a robot? I don't know. But I don't want to find out, because it's a giant metallic spider. And I am afraid of spiders. <laughs> Bow Spider here is actually pretty- oh jeez. I was about to say pretty easy for a fortress boss, but... Yeah, let's do some reads. There we go. It's actually probably a better idea to stay in the center, but the problem is... It also sends out these little mini spiders every now and then that can kind of mess up your rhythm. Mess up your mojo, if you know what I'm saying. You probably don't know what I'm saying, actually. What I'm saying is, in most cases, usually pretty dumb. There we go, deal some damage there. Deal some damage there. The shotgun ice is actually really good against this guy. Uh, deal some damage there, and we only have one more hit left to deal. The last hit is the easiest. Okay, that's actually not true. I guess it's supposed to be harder, but... Eh... I just kind of looked out there. 
Whatever, we beat the stage, so, uh... That was something. I wonder what Bow Spider's weapon is. Wow! And now in true Mega Man fashion, we have to click the same icon to go to the next stage. Which has probably my favorite music. Or one of it. I love this music though. It is, it is awesome. Also, I hope you like platforming. Well, you might actually like platforming. Once you've equipped the rolling shield. Luckily, my shield will protect me. Now, this means that we can only use the rolling shield, but on the bright side... Oh, wow, shit, we can't actually only use the rolling shield. We actually have to trigger it. I believe in the PSP version, you can use the rolling shield's normal shots while you are using the rolling shield's power shot, but apparently that is not the case, and maybe it's not the case in the PSP version either, but I can't remember. Either way, hope you're ready for a fight. And you know what? I am not gonna use your. Well, okay, I'm gonna use your weakness on you once, actually, because it's funny. Haha, <laughs> look at that. It's actually a lot funnier in the PSP version because he reacts to it. Okay, well, maybe not this refight version because <laughs> the refight version in the PSP version actually just has this kind of creepy half dead voice. But all the refight versions do, to be fair, so... Oh wow, the statues can actually hurt you? What? For some reason I thought you could stand on them. Eh. I think I actually may just be confusing it for the, uh, ice wall, the Mega Man and base. Or could you stand on the... I know you can stand on the player-made ice wall, but... Uh, Mega Man and base is a different can of worms entirely, though of worms that I was actually planning to LP for a while, but... Yoink! There we go. Eh, good old chill penguin. Stay thirsty, my friend. And let's continue going along. Kill that Reploid and steal his sweet armor. Now, it is actually possible for your armor to be destroyed as well, but... It's a little bit harder. Because you were just so... You were just so X, man. You were just such an X, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably not. Usually what I'm saying is actually pretty dumb and ridiculous. But maybe you knew what I was saying? Either way, we've got turrets to avoid from every which direction. Slow down from, like, every which direction, but... Eh, that doesn't matter, because... Dash jump away. Let's equip ourselves the chameleon sting and get ready for refight the third. Hello there, uh, Storm Eagle. Have I ever gushed about how awesome you were? Because I mean, seriously. Okay, for those of you who don't know, it's actually implied in the PSP version that Sigma beats Storm Eagle in a fight, which is the only reason why Storm Eagle is actually a bad guy. So he actually really wants to be a good guy, but unfortunately, there were conditions. And I believe, like, Armored Armadillo and Spark Mandrill are also bad guys because they're just loyal to Sigma. Because he's still kind of chief of the Maverick Hunters. And of course, Flame Mammoth is just a gigantic douchebag among douchebags. I mean, even worse than me. And I mean, that is quite the accomplishment there, good sirs and or madams. Here we go, trick him into facing that way. Do some nasty doity tricks with these enemies, but that's okay. Sometimes to take out a maverick, you gotta think like a maverick. Think like a maverick too. Starring... somebody, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, boss fight. Uh, actually, I could probably quit the chameleon sting for the the chameleon sting for this, because that happens to be this boss's weakness. This here is, of course, Rangda Bangda. Yeah, he's actually called that. It's just kind of weird. 
He actually also appears in the Zero series as a boss as well. You have to fight uh, R. Bandom, which is basically Rangda Bangda, just in cyberspace and junk. Though emphasis mostly on the junk. Anyway, to kill this boss, you have to kill its eyes and then kill its nose. It's kind of like the opposite of a fart, which will, like, kind of go for your nose first and then make your eyes water, but... Eh, whatever. X makes for a great fart, by the way. Every fart shoots laser beams. At least most of mine do. And with that, I believe we actually have time for one last Maverick stage. I think this may turn out to be a five-part series, which... Eh, I'd rather knock it out as a four-part series, but I don't want to make this video too long, because there are credits for me to incessantly ramble over. Anyway, let's equip the... Electric Spark was this guy's weakness, wasn't it? There we go. Ha, huh, react to that, dude. Oh, wow. I even got him on the spread shot there. There we go. That wasn't too bad. On the bright side, however, you gotta love a boss that just shoots Hadoukens out of his face, you know what I'm saying? It's all kinds of good. Anyway, you may see me equipping the uh, X-Buster a lot here, but that's just simply because I don't remember this stage as much as I probably should. And part of the reasoning for that is because the PSP version, which I am a lot more used to playing, I actually did a uh, minimalist run of the PSP version, but it has vastly different stages. So, yeah. For instance, that annoying platforming section that appeared in the first stage? That's in the second stage, if I remember correctly, on the uh, PSP one. It's either on the second stage, or you have to have already beaten the uh, first refight of that stage. Which isn't even uh, Mr. McFu Manchu mustache in the PSP version. You actually have to fight Launch Octopus. Launcher Octopul. And all the weird Japanese names like Storm Eagleed and Boomerang Kawanger. I mean, who would name something Boomerang Kawanger? I'm sure that in the US release of Mega Man X, that would have changed. Alright, anyway, let's actually use the Boomerang Cutter to grab some power ups there. Uh. There we go. Unfortunately, I don't know who's next. Oh, I do now. Hello, Mr. Spark Mandriller. I see you've made yourself a, uh... Nice little lair here, I mean... Looks pretty cool. Oh, well. I hit you after the flex, but it didn't count. Your muscles are too powerful, Spark Mandrill. That's why you drill mans, but not anymore. I have taken away your ability to drill the mans. <laughs> now you're just going to have to settle for getting a day job like the rest of us. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. That actually consumes ammo while you're inside these gulp fishes. Oh, I wish I had thought of that sooner. No oh well. And now we're gonna do something a little bit cool, actually. <laughs> I just remembered who we're fighting, because, well, we're in an underwater stage. Hello there, Mr. Octopus. Hello. This isn't your weakness, but I'm going to use it against you just because I can. There we go. Say hello to your lack of arms. Actually, this doesn't really do much to change the fight. Or I think it might. I think it may actually uh, take away his ability to do the E-Drain attack. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be doing it. So, that's kind of cool, actually. 
<laughs> you can cut off his tentacles with the boomerang cutter. I wonder if there's anything else you can cut off, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. Switch to the fire wave just to roast some chumps. I have no idea how to get what is over there. Like that one up, even if it's like if it's even pos Well actually. Screw that. I know how it's possible. Why didn't I think of it before? Oh, I see. That guy's strategically placed so that I can't do anything except I did. Haha. -ha. And now we're out of there. Out of the frying pan and into the last boss. That room is always just kind of clusterfuck, so... Whatever. Hello there, Mr. Mammoth. Mr. Big Giant Jerkface. Actually, it's basically said that because... Oh hey, he has no nose now. Nice. Now let's get him with his weakness. But it's actually said in uh, the Mega Man X games and stuff that... Out of all the Maverick Hunters that defected and uh, went to Sigma's side... All of them have loyal followers, except for Flame Mammoth, because he is just such an insufferable jerk. Which I love it. And his obsession with power... Well, gets his nose cut off. Next thing you know, he's gonna moonwalk. Well, this isn't the right console for moonwalking. This is definitely the wrong console for moonwalking. This is the Super Nintendo, it's no Sega Genesis, also a boss. Hello there, Mr. Boss. What is your name? I believe your name is actually the D-Rex. And he just kind of D-Rex your shit if you're not careful. Actually, I should probably use one of my sub-tanks here. There we go. Hello there, Mr. D-Rex. What are you doing? Creating energy balls? Well, that's nice. Now I'm just gonna hit you with you. Is Electric Spark even this guy's weakness? I seem to remember it is, but... It doesn't seem to be doing that much damage, and I mean... Uh... You're not weak to the Storm Tornado, are you? Maybe the Chameleon Sting? Maybe? I'm better off just firing charge shots at this guy, aren't I? Unless he's weak to the homing torpedo? The homing torpedo Ted? Nope. Alright, well I know what I'm doing now. Which is alright with me, because charge shots actually deal a lot of damage. There we go. One D-Rex successfully extinctified. God, I can't remember what his weakness is now. I'm sure it's gonna be really obvious in post, but maybe the electric spark was it? But no, that would be stupid. It's not the fire wave, is it? Oh god, getting up close to D-Rex with the fire wave would be... Oh, that would be painful. Either way, those were the first three uh, Sigma Fortress stages down, so... In the next episode, we're going to continue along the fortress and hopefully take the fight to Sigma himself. I'm going to see you guys later. This is Tales by Raga signing out. Thank you guys for watching.